वन टू थ्री स्टार्ट Hi guys, welcome to Black Perfume Week in India. And today we have another flanker video. This is from House of Bulgari. Uh, it's a jewelry based house. They specialize in two gems and a lot of other accessories as well. Uh, so when they came out, they came up with this version. It's called simply called Bulgari Pour Home. So what was so special about it? it it's quite minimalistic. That time everyone were doing swanky bottles like uh, uh, one million and uh, a lot of Fresh scents were going around at that time. Uh, these guys came up with something really artistic and something different and minimalistic on top of it. So a lot of people would remember this back from the days. This used to be on display on most of the airports. This is one of the older bottles I'm holding. I'll be let, let, let's talk about the notes. What I get from it. I have smelled it long back, so I'm pretty excited to revisit it. This very really Light, fresh, and uh, it's got this herbal tone to it, which is very different. I won't say it's aquatic; it's more mineral white coming from it, uh, mineral accord, what we say. And uh, I don't get fig out of it. Somewhere I read it had uh, some good fig elements as well. But uh, I won't. I don't see this going on any occasion at the current time. But this is more. One of those European scents. European scents were, you know, very soft, balanced, and uh, they won't bother people much around. So when this house came out from Europe, they would have come up with that minimalistic approach. And this is a, a newer batch, and this bottle actually looks pretty good. So by mistake, I picked up an older one first. It comes with an insert in here. So let's sniff this. If the notes. Vary in this. I like the sprayer because back then uh, none of the brands were using a lot of good quality, decent sprayers. So to precisely describe this scent and an occasion for it, it, it does gives me you know uh, how the newly printed books smell like. So it, it smells like inky, and they say people. I mean, they uh, recognize this scent for a unique uh, tea note. Uh, to me, it, it smells more spiced up tea with with that slight paperish smell. And coming to a next one on this one is called Extreme. So this one looks like older bottle, like how the brand convention goes. And this one looks like a newer bottle to me. It's Extreme, and this is a third batch. I'm not sure what's the difference in all, but let's have a look. This is quite. Pale and the extreme is on the other side, so I'm believing this is at least 10 to 12 old, 12 year, uh, 10 to 12 years old bottle. Extreme is definitely more stronger. It announces more, and this is more powdery. It has lavender to it. I can definitely say from the first sniff, it's going more, leaning more towards the soapy category. I, I like this more than that. Uh, less sniff, a uh, newer bottle which is more shiny, the other one was matte and this is also slightly yellow so I'm believing they have added a funk to it kind of and there we go I don't uh, see a difference, in fact this one was more a much much more potent one and this is you know, slight uh, more of a stripped down version. So, uh, definitely, this is a quite old bottle in that part of time. The ingredients used to be much, much better quality. So, the scents evolved with time. Nowadays, they do not. And this is called Soa, which is, I think, the third one and the latest one. Uh, this is also discontinued. When I say latest, means the youngest of all three. Let's spray this. And this smells, this reminds me of another one, but not entirely. Uh, that's the, uh, the Bulgari black, the round one. But that's got slight rubbery vibe to it. This also has this, I like this one. I mean, this has got, this has actually got the tea note to it. Tea, spices, and some, something unique. 
uh, something metallic. So if you are thinking to grab one of these, if you have memories associated with this fragrance, out of these three editions, this is the basic edition, this is the extreme edition, this is the SOA edition, you should definitely get this one. I see this is a 50 ml bottle. If you go on perfumery.co.in right now, this is going for 1800 bucks. That's $20. So that's a steel price. This one is a vintage one, so I'll be putting this for around 4000 And this is quite old and uh, this didn't appeal me more as well. So this would be going for a really low price of 1800 or 1500 So yes, if you were looking for these uh, since years, because uh, last I've seen this were three, four years back. Go to perfumery.co.in right now. Check it out. I'll put links in the description below. Do get Perfumery app because what I do, I plan out a lot of events, a lot of you know, interactive and uh, innovative sales idea which keep people engaged. And I'll give you an example of what we did last time. So we did more of a talk of war. We made two categories of two brands. I believe one was Bulgari, second was Hermes, and 10, 10 variants. And we sent out a mailer and a notification. Then people start buying it. Say there are 10 here, 10 here, here one fragrance sells. So all the fragrance on team B prices are slashed by 100 bucks. Now a one perfume sells here, gets sold out, 100 bucks are slashed on the other side. So at the end of the hour or end of the 20, 30 minutes, you would see a fragrance going from 3000 bucks to 2000 bucks step by step and it's like a variable pricing model and, and it's interactive it more of a gamification I love it people love it so do install my app I'll keep sending you notification about a lot of sales go ahead check it out see ya Dr. Chalo Bye.